Hey, I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to today's video. Today, we are diving into a quick little unboxing of the ISC Squared SSCP certification, as well as an overall timeline of what you can expect for the certification in terms of time. So starting off with the actual certification, if you want more resources, further information on my experience with the exam itself and taking the certification, feel free to check out the video right here. It goes into more depth on just my personal experience with really preparing for the certification. And if you also want additional resources for studying for the exam and just key resources that I use to pass on my first go, feel free to also check out the other video right there as well. Again, today's video, we're really diving into the timeline of sort of how long you can expect for you to really study for the exam, then how long it will really take for you to go through the overall ISC squared process, because there's several different steps apart from the actual exam certification to actually getting your ISC squared certification. There's several different steps. So we're going to dive into those several different steps and the overall timelines of what you can expect for each of those steps. So starting off with, of course, studying and preparing for your actual exam, that personally took me about three weeks, five to six hours every single day for those three weeks, just reading, watching videos, and really reviewing and getting familiar with the material, as well as studying the actual practice exams. So it was about two weeks of videos and books, and then one week of just going through the practice exams, reviewing questions, reviewing answers, and trying to understand either some of my deficiencies or maybe reviewing things that I already knew just to make it a little more solid, a little more crystal clear. So that was about three weeks. I've seen people take anywhere from four to six weeks. So it just really depends what's within your bandwidth to really get ready and prepare for the actual exam. Now that's just the first step to the overall certification process. Then there's this endorsement application process. That for me took about three days in total in terms of me putting in and submitting my application, my endorsement application for review, and then it actually getting approved. Me getting an email saying, your endorsement application was improved. And the way this works is at least for the SSC pre-certification, it requires a minimum of one year of work experience, or you can sign up for a one year prerequisite pathway. And the way this works is if you have a college degree, that's a bachelor's either in cybersecurity, or it can also be in computer science, computer engineering, computer systems engineering, MIS or information technology, those all qualify under your um, bachelor's degree so they give you that one year waiver where you don't actually need that one year of work experience because you have this bachelor's instead so you can use either one but I went ahead and submitted my education experience and I figured that might be a little faster so that's why I got my endorsement application back and approved within three days but you also need your second thing which is someone who is already certified with the ISC squared organization they have to go ahead and approve your actual endorsement application. So again, you need two things. You need proof of one year's work experience, or you can do your one year prerequisite education waiver, and you require someone else that's in the ISC squared organization already. In other words, they already have an ISC squared certification, who will then go ahead and approve your actual application and endorse you saying, hey, I understand or know this person. I know they either have the work experience or the actual degree that they're declaring. I want to go ahead and endorse them for their certification. So that's just the second step when it comes to the actual IRC squared certification process. I know online you might read something like it's gonna take four to six weeks, but for me personally, in my experience, it only took about three days from me submitting to the point of being approved for the actual endorsement. Then from there, once you get endorsed, you will go ahead and get an email saying you have been endorsed. Now you need to go ahead and pay your annual maintenance fee or your AMF. And once you do that, they say it's going to take about 24 hours. I think I, once I paid it, it was done in like five minutes. You'll get another email then saying you've paid your actual annual membership fee or uh, maintenance fee, whatever they call it. Then from there, you are going to get another email saying congratulations and you know welcome to the ISC Squared organization. And that from there, they're going to send you both an email where you're going to get your digital badge. And that takes about, that took me about six days, uh, four business days and the weekend. But they say it takes anywhere from up to two weeks. I got it within a week of the actual confirmation email of having joined ISC squared to then actually getting my digital badge on top of that. From when I got my confirmation email, welcoming, welcoming me to ISC squared, 
I got my certification in about two and a half weeks, which again, you're going to read. It's going to take anywhere from five to 10 weeks. That took me about two and a half weeks or eight business days in total. So the overall process wasn't as long as I thought it'd be. In total, it really only took me about six weeks from the day I started studying for the exam to actually receiving my certification in the mail delivered in my mailbox. So overall, there's a few more steps in the actual certification process for ISC Square. But again, once you get your certification and you pass, the endorsement process is still pretty simple. You just have to go ahead and reach out to someone who has an ISC Square certification. So that can be the SSCP, the CISSP, the CCSP, any certification under ISC Square's umbrella. And if you don't know anybody who has an ISC Squared certification, feel free to reach out to me or anybody who has an ISC Squared certification. Just let them know, hey, you know, I saw you have the SSCP and I'm going for my SSCP and I've just passed it. Would you be okay with endorsing my application? Here's my work experience. Here's proof of my work experience or a degree or whatever. And that way you can do that on LinkedIn. Just look up SSCP or CISSP or whatever. Or if you know someone in your organization, usually they'll be more than happy to go ahead and endorse you for your endorsement application. It's really not that big a deal. So just make sure you go ahead and either look on LinkedIn or within your work organization, someone within the security department who can go ahead and endorse you. So overall for the timeline, you can expect anywhere from three to six weeks for the actual studying and preparing for the certification. Then after your exam, you'll get a piece of paper that they give to you at your exam proctored site saying whether you pass or fail. Assuming you pass, it's going to take maybe a few days to go ahead and get your endorsement application submitted. Once you have it submitted, they say it takes anywhere from four to six weeks. It'll take you probably just a few days to actually get it approved. And then from there, you just got to pay your annual maintenance fee, which once you have paid, it'll take, it'll be almost instantly that you'll get your welcome email saying, welcome to ISC squared. And from there, it's going to take a few weeks to get both your digital badge about a week or two, and then another two or three weeks to get your actual ISC Squared certification in the mail. So now we're going to go ahead and unbox the ISC Squared uh, SSCP certification just to show you guys what you can really expect. So here we are. So it's pretty cool already. I think I see a pin in there. Let's see. Forgot to grab scissors. Let's go ahead and unbox the sucker. Yeah, I think I see like a, a pin. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. Of course, there's one more, one more. How many stickers do they have to have on this? There we go, jeez. Oh, that's pretty cool. So there you are, uh, here we are. So you got a little, that's pretty cool. You got a little SSCP, uh, your actual certification, plus you got a little congratulations right there. Welcome to ISC Squared, you got an SSCP pin. So that's pretty cool. I mean, overall, it's like a nice little paper material. You know, I actually think that's really cool. That's a really nice way to go ahead and uh, and send it out. Usually sometimes they just send you like the digital version, you just print it out, but they actually print it out on like nice, on like this really nice paper, really nice paper, really nice font. And it's got like the cool logo and, and such. So it's really cool overall. I actually really like it. Let's see, we got a welcome. Yeah, welcome to ISC squared. You got your SSC pin there without the glare. So there you go. So you got your SSC pin right there and then just some welcome packet for welcoming to ISC Squared. So overall, really cool certification, a really great certification if you're looking to get into cybersecurity or just prove your cybersecurity skill set, the System Security Certified Practitioner Certification from ISC Squared. So that's my overall timeline with the ISC Squared SSCP certification. And hopefully this gives you a good rough estimate, a rough timeline of how long you can expect to get your certification, pass your exam, and actually get your certification in the mail. So overall, I really hope this video helped you. If it did, please make sure to like and follow for more content. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. As always, remember, today's a great day to have a great day. So have a great day. Thanks for watching.